Kat Jathim, or however the fuck you say her name, is some writing studies woman on Twitter who has said that people who write for Quillette should lose all credibility. She's constantly railing against Quillette for supposedly being unscrupulous. Meanwhile, leftist academics regularly publish pure nonsense in fields like the social sciences all the time, and she would never call for them to be shamed. Let's look at some of the bullshit articles that leftist academics publish in humanities and social science journals. True and false are not objective, scientific, black and white concepts. All stories, whether observed, heard, or read, lived and imagined, are imaginary storylines. I try to ignore the feeling of being grossed out and try not to look around too much for signs of previous visitors to this particular toilet. Obviously my attempt fails and I spot at least three hairs and... Is that a pubic hair? Okay, stop looking and stop thinking. The article in question sort of documents my falling apart and almost, almost, sort of, kind of having an affair with a male student. I touch my left breast again with the back of my right hand, a routine movement that I unconsciously repeat many times a day. My breasts feel rock hard. I imagine the white, almost translucent skin on my breasts, lined with the large blue veins so characteristic of breastfeeding boobs. They are big. I know, so different from the tiny breasts that usually characterize my body shape. My brother once compared my body shape to an asparagus. Okay, enough of that bullshit, you get the idea. And here's some poem about masturbating. This stuff isn't funny, it's just fucked. None of these examples are cherry-picked or out of context. This kind of academic literature is very common and very easy to find. All of these articles are peer-reviewed autoethnographies. Here's a list of the general problems with autoethnographies. They blatantly deny objective truth and the difference between fact and fiction, they denigrate actual science, and they rely on irrational and unscientific methods like poetry, paranoid speculation, storytelling, word associations, and using a tiny amount of anecdotes. Of course, left-wing academics have also contaminated the field of philosophy with word salad and self-defeating relativism, and autoethnographers cite postmodern philosophy as a major influence. Anyway, it should be abundantly clear that this stuff is pure shit. Kat Jathim doesn't care, she'll defend it anyway just because it supports her ideology. One of her big problems with Quillette seems to be the stuff on race, but she knows nothing about race realism or the race and IQ debate. She's merely offended by it, so she wants to ban it. She clearly thinks that there's an overwhelming consensus against this stuff, but I have yet to see her prove that, and even if there was, that would still just be an argument from authority. Another thing about Katja is that her followers are some of the dumbest people ever to live. You've got this moron who says that skin color isn't biological, but when asked to explain why he thinks this, he just says it has to do with genetics, which he doesn't know anything about. Then there's this subhuman blob who thinks that debates about race realism or racial IQ differences are about speciation, which is just patently absurd and proves he hasn't spent a single second investigating this topic.